so this is a drum set or a drum kit. And there are lots of different parts to it. The big one here at the bottom, that's called the bass drum or the kick drum because I actually play it with my foot. It kind of looks like I'm kicking it. That's why it's called the kick drum. The other uh, really important drum here is called the snare drum. And the snare drum here has these things on the bottom. They're little snare wires. You can even, they're vibrating even while I'm talking. And so they're listening to whenever I tap the drum on the other side. Gives it a really cool snappy, clappy type of sound. That's the snare drum. Then I have these two other drums here. This is called a rack tom. This is a floor tom, because it sits on the floor. And then we have these two. These are made out of metal. Um, they're called cymbals. This big one here is called the ride cymbal. And you can kind of ride on it. You can also crash on it. Wow, really cool sound. Then we have two little ones here. One's right side up, the other's upside down. And I actually can control opening and closing them with my foot, my other foot. So I can play them just with my foot. Or I can play them with a stick. And depending how I open them, it changes the sound. Right? So if we put it all together, we can make some drum beats. The drums. There's a whole bunch of tambourines here. Um, tambourines are really fun, and I've got a big collection of them. Some are made out of plastic. This one's a yellow plastic one. Lots of different ways to play the tambourine. Some are made out of wood. This one's a little smaller. Each one has its own personality. Here's a big wooden one. That one almost sounds shimmery like, uh, like the twinkling stars in the night sky. Tambourine. Oh, cool. This is a synthesizer. It kind of looks like a little piano, doesn't it? It's got white and black keys. And the black keys have a pattern just like piano does. Three, two, three, two. Do you know what three plus two makes? Five. And they make a pentatonic scale. One, two, three, four, five, and then it starts over. Um, this is a, a, a synthesizer. It's an electric piano, and it can make lots of different sounds. Right now, but if I start turning knobs, I can make the sounds change. sounds too.
almost sounds like a thunderstorm. Synthesizer. Whoa! This is one of the biggest instruments I have in my music room. This has one, two, three, four strings. Do you remember another instrument that had four strings? The other bass. This is a bass too. Actually, ukulele has four strings also, but they're very thin. So ukulele plays very high. Bass has very thick strings. So it lets me play very low notes. And this is an acoustic bass or an upright bass because um, it's held upright. Kind of looks like a giant violin if you've ever seen one of those. Um, again, if I hold my fingers down on the fretboard, I can change the notes. Upright bass. Very low. Very cool. Alright. And here's where I actually write most of my songs. On this instrument here. It's a piano. It has the white and the black keys. And there's actually 88 of them. It's a lot. Close to 100. But not quite. And depending on which shapes I make my fingers and how quiet or loud I play the piano, I can get all sorts of tones. I can get very low notes and very high ones way up here. You probably can't even see it. Where great minds grow, piano. Thanks for exploring my music room with me. Do you have any instruments at your house? Maybe you can experiment with them. See you next time.